Today is a big day. I have a camera crew, Stephanie. I have an assistant, Inca, mm -hmm. with the board. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it is a large day today. That's a joke, LOL. Okay. All right, guys. I'm going to go into a little bit more about how the stuff worked in my NDE. And the reason why I'm going to do that is I'm going to need that information to explain to you how physicality works. So there are a couple things I want you to remember. Remember the phrase, as above, so below. Remember that. And then I want you to keep in mind a couple of things. If I say to you, uh, within yourself, you have, and this is you, this is you, and within you, you have your child self, your, uh, let's see, your daughter or son, daughter or son, uh, you might have your parent self, you might have, uh, let's just go ahead and put bad and good. Okay. You've got all these different aspects of you within you. You don't, these, each individual things don't come out and aren't separate. Most of the time these things work in conjunction. Sometimes uh, the childish part of you uh, doesn't show itself hardly at all. But it always, whatever your childhood was like, it always has input into all of this of the you that you are. So if you had a really fun childhood, more than likely this child aspect of you uh, m means that you have fun easier, that at a party you are kind of can have fun, that with your kids you are easily, you more easily have fun. If your childhood had very little fun in it, then you probably struggle as a parent having fun with your children, okay? It also includes stuff like um, how your family treated, say, if you're a man and you heard things like uh, you can't cry or emotions or weakness, that kind of thing. What kind of son or daughter you are is in here. And all of these things will be inside of who you are, but they do not operate independently of one another. One of them will draw more to the forefront in any given time or space, okay? Now, give me a second. Now, this is the same thing as you in Source. You are one of these aspects of Source. Need a bigger eraser. Because <laughs> this little tiny erasers take a while. So here's source, and here is you, here is me, here is your parent, here is every single human. But it also includes each plant, each molecule. And above you and your parents and each plant is where it starts, this right here, an entity. And this is an entity, and this is an entity, and all of these X's are equal. All of these X's are equal, okay? And you come down and you get in this skin suit and you play the role of a human. Or this entity comes down and puts on a plant suit and plays the role of a plant. The only reason that you see these things as perhaps uh, you as a human is better than this plant is because you live in linear time space. So you believe, or a lot of people believe, probably not you particularly, but a lot of people believe that humans, because they can communicate consciously, they talk, that they're better than the plant. 
mainly because they don't see that the plant communicates with everything easily, and a human in amnesia does not. But the point of being a human is to be in amnesia. That has been the point of that game. Okay, so you with me so far? All right. Let's take this off. <laughs> Maybe you okay. should try using Inca tail. <laughs> Inca tail. I'll just take her nose. It's my assistant's like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the next thing I want you to think about is things within things within things. Layers of things. Which seems to bother a lot of people. But we're going to start with first an atom. That's an atom. And the atom is in a molecule. And the molecule, we should probably start this at the beginning, in the middle. <laughs> Here's an atom. There's actually parts of the atom, but we'll go atom inside a molecule. The molecule's inside of parts of a cell. Parts of a cell are inside of a cell. Cell is a part of a finger. Finger's a part of a hand. Hand is a part of a body. Body's a part of a family. Family is a part of a city. City is part of a of a state. State is part of a nation. Nation is part of a of a planet. Planet is a part of a solar system. Solar system is a part. Now that makes total sense. To you. you don't have any problem with that at all. All of these things are actually made up of vibrations. And anybody who knows anything about uh, a molecule, they say <clears throat> that the amount of empty space in a molecule is much, much more than what <coughs> you think of as solid space. However, what they don't know is just like you used to not know, humans used to not know that things were made up of molecules and atoms, well, it keeps going. There are parts of the atom and then there are parts of that and it keeps going infinitely in and infinitely out. And all these things are built one on top of each other. Well, if you pull out enough, now you've got everybody a part of this planet, Earth. So all of this is Earth. And every single thing <clears throat> is within that Earth. <clears throat> but yet, even though all of the things that are on Earth are made up of, are tied to one another. There are all these different entity, entities, the X's in the source, remember that one? Your source, here's all the X's, me, you, everyone else came down to be a human, came down to be a plant. All of those parts <clears throat> are individual different beings that come down into Earth and coexist. And that's how they make the collective for that moment. All right. Erase again. Enter music. <laughs> I think we need to get rid of this one. This is going to take too long. Okay. All right. So now that we know that everything is layered, everything is vibrational, everything in source is all of us, and we can take us and put it on this little tiny planet called Earth, work together as a group, and form a collective consciousness doing a certain thing, really we're vibrating in a certain area. Okay? So... How this works is, now, all of this stays inside of source. I'm drawing it out just so you can comprehend it. But in reality, everything is all inside of source. So this is what happens, is this is you, right here. And this part of you, we're going to say, comes out of source. Mainly, so that you can understand it. But you take this part of you, and this part of you, this is all of source. And this part of you comes out and it say this much of the all it is. Energetically, 
what happens is this is a big, large amount of energy. And let's say you decided that you're going to be a human on the planet Earth, but you're going to put yourself into linear time space. So what happens is you will come down here and you will divide yourself into infinite aspects of you. Here's you. Each one of these is you. And all of these infinite aspects of you will be available for you, the you that I'm talking to right now, to focus on. Okay? So does everybody else. Everybody else does this. And these X's right here are infinite options. Now let's say here's me. I'm Y. I come over here. And I've got a Y version right along with you on these infinite timelines. And there's a W over here and all the different options of us. And there's a W here. But maybe this entity doesn't want an option here and here and here. It just wants an option here, here, and here. Okay? Each individual, whether they're plant, human, molecule, whatever, when they come out and go down into this game, can make themselves aspects of themselves that go anywhere along this infinite possibility timeline. And you get to choose that. Okay? And you are that big that not only you can produce all of these options with all of these different collectives, but you can, this part of you, can keep track of all of these infinite options and you can, from the standpoint of where you are right now, decide which one of these options you're going to focus on. It's not that any of these go away. They have always are there. That's what I say. When I say that there are infinite possibilities, or other people say infinite possibilities, and I say, no, there are infinite nows. There are, there are infinite places, people, places, things. Because these are all existing at the same time, in now time. It's just a matter of which one are you going to focus on. You are already creating all of the options. You're already running all of the options. They already are going. The question is, which one is you, right here and now, the one I'm talking to, which one do you want to focus on? What do you want to experience? Because all of them will happen. And almost everybody has options from being a very bad version of you to a very good version of you. A sad, fearful version of you all the way to a happy version of you. And it's not that that will affect any of these things that are being...